Hey, hey, why are you always making this in and out Shake Shack thing? Because we, we that's, ordered that's not the video. We ordered we, animal we didn't, style we didn't, fries. We, didn't, we don't have in and out here to speak. What's going on everybody? Today we have the entire Shake Shack menu with us and we are going to be trying it from what is ranked worst to the best item. Benson, you got a lot of opinions on this. Shake Shack started back in New York City in 2004. I've been going since I was a kid. Shake Shack has a fascinating story. It sort of like took burgers to the next level. It really came in at almost like a $15 meal, which is just way different than what was available before. It's almost like fast casual. So in the beginning, it actually started off as a hot dog cart. Um, as part of like an art exhibit uh, for I Love New York in Madison Square Park. Which kind of leads us into our first section. Yeah, man. Which is considered by the internet the worst section. There's not much to it. You have the cheese dog, which you can get the cheese as extra, and you have the regular plain hot dog here. It is a all beef Vienna sausage frank on a potato roll. All right, let's start off with the one without cheese. Shake Shake Shack, Shack hot, hot dog. dog. It's not bad, but I just feel like you wouldn't come to Shake Shack for a hot dog. No. So this is only 325, okay? I, I can see why, because this is pretty basic. I mean, they did fillet, you know, the weenie. Hot, hot dog, dog with cheese. cheese. I'm not normally a fan of cheese on a hot dog, but the quality of the cheese that they put into this hot dog is really, really good. Surprised to see the jump from the regular hot dog to the cheese hot dog. If this is the worst we have to see today, I'm pretty excited. If you want more people to see this video, make sure to smash that like button, turn on your notifications, and click subscribe. It'll help this video. All right, everybody, the next round we are getting into the entry-level burgers. These are the things that are on the menu, but nobody's super raving about. This is the Veggie Shack. It looks good. Looks the layers good. look solid. I mean, the beef definitely comes out. It's a red pad. Oh, Benji, you took another bite. You like wow. it? Wow. Yeah. I, I don't know if this is the worst ranked burger, man. It's good. This, this, is, the, this good. is the worst ranked burger. I don't know, guys. That's what they said. Moving on to the grilled cheese sandwich. This is actually two potato buns. It's flipped over and then grilled on the outside. It's not bad, but there's nothing great about it. Right. And next one up at 429, we have the plain burger. The hamburger is a little dried out right now. I could see for picky eaters don't like vegetables, if they dress this up a little bit, why not? All right, now it is time to try the fries. Nobody goes there for no. the fries. Nobody goes there's, there's there for the There's a reason why this is near the bottom of the list. Shake Shack fries. You can't go wrong with the crinkle cut. A little saltier than I remember. Let's try in the cheese dip real quick. Fries with cheese. I'm not that into that cheese. Oh, we gotta try it with the cheese and bacon now. <clears throat> Benson, you might love that cheese, but you have to admit it's not the most appealing looking. Okay, the bacon adds something. It's too salty with the bacon and the cheese and the salt that's on the potato. This is a Sakura, a Sakura. Sakura. Cherry blossom flavored lemonade. Um, I don't really taste the cherry blossom. So this is the shack sauce and you eat it with the cheese, making it their own animal style fries. I don't know what this is really, what I've been told. They're not fresh, David. It really does taste like animal style. Do you rank them better than in and outs Um. One, two, three. One, two, three. I want to say I would take Shake Shacks. All day I'm going to Shake Shack. I actually am, am totally able to skip the fries when I go to Shake Shack. I would rather these though than In-N-Out fries. Hey, hey, why are you always making this In-N-Out Shake Shack thing? Because we, we that's, ordered- That's not the video. We ordered we, animal we didn't, style we didn't, fries. We, we don't have In-N-Out here to speak. Well, it's unnecessary. Stop the beat. We need to it's come not. together. It's All right, coming in as being ranked in the middle of the pack, we have the dessert section. We have custards and we have shakes. All right, immediately, just... guys, with this Sakura cherry blossom flavor, I can smell the cherry. All right, I'm not gonna lie, guys. The cherry blossom one is just a light cherry. Still good. Oh, you're right. This might be a black and white. This is definitely fudge. I got the malted vanilla. I don't really Yo. taste the uh, the malt. Yo, that tastes like a vanilla. better frosty. No, that one was pretty good. I, 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 of that round, guys, I gotta give it to the black and white. The black and Definitely. white is actually one of the most popular, but you know what, there's another popular flavor that you can get anywhere is the cookies and cream. I got custard is thick. It's thick with three C's. Yeah. Chocolate flavor coming from the custard is top notch. I love the chocolate. Their, their milkshake game is strong. We have our chicken section. We have the chicken bites and the chicken shack. A little dry but it's got a nice salt to it. And I'm sure if it was like fresh, the breading outside would be nice and crispy. You can tell. I wasn't that I wasn't into the chicken bites, to be honest. It was all right. You yeah. know what You know what it is for? I think it's for kids. Because kids. what kind of grown adult is gonna be like, uh, can I get the chicken bites? 
You know, the chicken bites yeah. sounds like something. They, yeah, I want the chicken bites, mom. Can you give me the you know, you Shake Shack chicken bites? You know what my ex would do? Oh, know. his ex. Here's an ex story. <laughs> Wait, which ex? I don't even know them all. Guys, we have the Chicken Shack here at 729. This is their premier chicken sandwich with their dill spread. They have nicely sliced pickles, nicely shredded cabbage. Everything is looking really high quality from here. That chicken is really a dry, gigantic piece of breast meat that I'm not into. Mm -hmm. But I do love the way they dressed it up. Everything flows well. I would say my only knock on this sandwich, really, is I think there's too many pickles. Okay, we are moving up the list and we have finally reached the burgers. These are considered the premier items. This is the shroom burger at 729. That is a portobello mushroom stuffed with Munster and cheddar. I would almost rather eat that shroom stuffed with the Munster and cheddar on its own than with the bun right now. Because I kind of get disappointed once I get to the potato bun flavor and I'm just like, that doesn't contrast that strongly. I'll tell you this, this is probably one of the heaviest vegetarian burgers I've ever had. Oh, Guys, this is the Shack Stack, okay? This has everything that you love from the shroom burger, which is the shroom and the cheese, but on top of a humongous patty. And this is not true, I only get this. This is the only thing I will get at Shake Shack. This is the single most expensive burger on the menu. There's a lot of things going out of my mouth right now. Yeah. Man, that was really good, but it was almost like too much is going on, man. Yeah. And not only did they add beef to this burger, but they added shack sauce. The portobello is Wait. bigger than a patty. I mean, that was pretty good. Kinda More is less in this case. I've realized I've been ordering the overwhelming burger. <laughs> All right, our last burger of this round is actually a sandwich I've never had. I think it's a somewhat of a newcomer to the Shake Shack menu, but it is the roadside double. It has Swiss cheese, it's got caramelized onions, uh, it's obviously a double, so it has two patties. Mad grilled onions. I, I think that- And it has Dijon mustard. I think that this is where more burgers are at in 2020. You know what I love? Is that the burgers aren't too big. This caramelized onions is definitely the premier flavor in this. It's very, very forward. Does it not taste like Loco Moco? Yeah. Ooh, it tastes yeah. exactly like Loco Moco. It tastes like the onions have this gravy in yeah. it that are that's pretty salty. I mean, it's a good burger. I wouldn't put it over the shroom stack. I would no. not put it over the shroom stack. I would say it does taste unique. All right, guys, we are on to our last round of burgers. These are considered the best burgers on the entire menu. Now, I see my order Smoke Shack Burger. It has the balance of the nice sweet and spicy cherry peppers. It's got bacon on it. It's got cheese. The cherry peppers have definitely been pickled and you get some of the bacon. Uh, the cheese and everything, but the peppers are what makes this sandwich. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's vinegary. Best thing I've had, hands down. Spicy, but not too spicy. Mm. It was pretty good, I no, wasn't expecting that. I actually am, am surprised that I've never had this before. Yo, you guys, we are down to our last two from the list we found on the internet from First We Feast. This is supposed to be the second best sandwich at Shake Shack. The Shack Burger Single. This is like the white tea. You're right, it's a white tea. No one's mad that you're wearing it. It goes with everything, but no one loves it. Guys, this is a lot of beef. Holy sheesh. This is supposed to be the best one. Guys, overall agreed to be the best sandwich at Shake Shack. It's pretty good. It's a, it's a great burger. Why is it it's so much better than the single? The single, right? I would not. You would have to get the double on this. Well, the double. Why? I think it has to do with the additional cheese. That is a strong burger, and I'm not mad that they put this as number one. I'm a convert! Hold up! I take the shit? double stack! All right, Ryan, what's your first pick? I, mean, I feel no, like we know. It's no surprise. It is the Smoke Shack burger. My favorite, the Smoke Stack. Woo. Oh! The Smoke Stack. The Smoke Stack? I mean, the Smoke Shack. <laughs> oh, okay, sleeper pick. I gotta go with the veggie burger with the provolone is really one of the better ones available. And, we and it doesn't veggie. even try to imitate meat. Like to go with the veggie burger, man. Out of all the things that we, come on. You saw my reaction when I was eating it. My favorite sleeper, I would say, was the cheesy hot dog. I... The cheesy hot dog was solid. Do we all agree? Chicken at the bottom. The chicken mm. at Shake Shack is or... like, I don't know, something's awkward with it. My... All right, everybody, so we just ate through the entire menu at Shake Shack. That was a lot of food, but we have a couple secret menu items that you have to order in person. I had to look these up on the internet. Let's bring them out. Secret menu items wow. at Shake Shack. How are you guys doing? I'm holding up. 
I'm the. Uh, I'm, I'm Santa Fe. I'm okay. I'm I think I've, I stood up. I had. Uh, I burped, and uh, I'm better. <laughs> Here on my right side, I have the quad. That's all it's called. It is four patties, four slices of cheese. Here on my left side, I have the BLT. This was about five dollars. It's your classic BLT. It has the applewood smoked bacon, lettuce, tomatoes on a flipped reverse grilled potato. They burger. also, at some locations in some cities, have a peanut butter burger. Yes. yes. Check right, out, let's, let's check out the quad, bro. This is the bro. This is brotastic. Oh my gosh. I mean, when I held up that whole burger, when you hold it up, how many? That's that's more than a pound. It's reaching See? ignorant levels right here, guys. This is the quad. It tastes like eating a chicken fried steak. We might, I might have to put a little bit of peanut butter and honey on this. Peanut butter. Hit me with some butter, please. I will try. You guys, we uh, right. we we made our own peanut butter jelly burgers uh, just to imitate the missing secret items. It's good, man. Oh. All right, guys. Our last item on the menu is the BLT. It looks very unimpressive. Not bad. I kind of like it. It's got the shack sauce, so it's not just your normal mayo and a BLT. And the bacon is super mm. high quality. What a pleasant way to end. <laughs> this sandwich, you could taste the potato bun the best. What else would you like to see get Shake Shack fried? Meaning uh, premium ingredients, premium price, but casual setting. I do believe the next thing will be pizza. If they bring New York style pizza and do it right in California and everybody everywhere else, I think it could take off. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching that video of Shake Shack. If you guys enjoyed that video at all, make sure to smash that like button, turn on your notifications, click subscribe. Let us know in the comment section below, number one, what is your favorite Shake Shack burger? And number two, let us know another item that could use Shake Shackification. We're gonna pin the best answer in the first 48 hours, send you a $25 Amazon gift card. And this is Ryan, David, Andrew from the Fun Bros, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. We have a little challenge for our 200 pound camera guy, John. Do you think John can finish this in under two minutes? Boom. There's no way. <laughs> this is so dry. Oh. One more bite. One more bite. Oh. Ah! Boom. We're done. You guys can beat John's time of three minutes and 48 seconds. Post a video and tag the fun bros.